Okay, so this is the second side of homework 18, and basically you are asked to find every single angle in the diagram. So first and foremost, if you ever see the letter F, and in this case, it's definitely upside down. The angles that are under the branches, because if you turn it upside down, they would be under. In this case, it's over. They're always equal. I'm not done with the question, but anytime you see the letter F, you always have equal angles. So in number 14, when you're looking at this, there's definitely a backwards F, and the angles underneath the branches are always equal to each other. Now, you may not see the F in number 15, but there's definitely an F in number 15. And the angles underneath the branches are always equal to each other. And in the same diagram, there's actually a backwards F. So here is the backwards F, which means the angles underneath the branches are always equal to each other. So here is my 150. So I'm looking across the whole diagram to see really how many more times I see the letter F in the diagram. Well, I definitely see a backwards F, or I should say an upside down F here which means this is 118 and this is 118 also. So that's a quick one. I still see an F, a backwards one, in number 20. So this is 50 and this is 50. And that's pretty much the only Fs that I actually have in the diagrams. Okay, so now, what am I looking for? I'm going for half a circles. So I have a half a circle over here. And remember how we do this on the calculator. You type in the full 180 and you subtract off the angle you have, which is 105. And whatever you're left with, 75, that's the missing angle. So you are completely done with number 13. This one is done. When you go to number 14, you have the same concept. You have a half a circle here, so you have to fill in the angle. So you go to your calculator, you type in the 180, which is the half circle, and you subtract off the 145 that you have. When you're done, you see 35. So I got every single angle in number 14. Number 15, you definitely have a half of a circle over here. And you have another one over here. You have one on the top and one over here. But if you notice, the two left ones are the same. The two right ones are the same. You may not even need to use your calculator because 120 plus 60 is 180. And 120 plus 60 is 180. 150 plus 30 is 180. And 150 plus 30 is 180. Now you're almost done with number 15. The only thing that you're missing is there's this little teeny triangle at the top. And the three angles of every triangle always add up to 180. So if you add 60 plus 30, you're going to get 90. You actually need 90 more degrees up on top to come up with 180. So in the end, you just finished figuring out all the angles in 15. Now, when I look at number 16, I definitely see bow ties. This matches this. So this is definitely 35 degrees. It even makes the X for the bow tie, all right? But the 25 is part of a bow tie also. So this one and this one, you can see the X right here. So therefore they are both 25. Now, before I move on, you should look at the diagram and definitely see the letter Z. Z angles are always equal. So if that top one is a 25, then the bottom one is a 25. And then in your same diagram, you have a backward Z. So if the top one is 35, then the bottom one is 35. You could say to yourself, okay, I do have a triangle at the very bottom, and this triangle, the three angles always add up to 180. So this 
plus this plus this is 180. So on your calculator, you might want to type in the 180 because that's always the total. And then subtract off the two angles you have, 25 and subtract off 35. In the end, you're left with 120. That's the angle on the top. So this is 120. But the other half of the bow tie for that is up here. And you are done with 16. You got every single angle. Now, when it comes to 17, a couple of things to see. I definitely have the letter Z, definitely. So therefore, if this is 122, then this is 122. And if you notice, you definitely have a linear pair, two angles that make up 180 degrees. So you might wanna take your calculator and type in 180 minus 122 to get the angle, which is 58. But if this angle is 58 degrees, there is a Z in this diagram like this, which means there is a green 58 up here also. So all angles are done in number 17. When you look at number 18, I hope everyone sees the Z angles. So if this one is 70, then this one is 70. All right, but in addition to Z angles, do we all see a linear pair? I think you can figure out without a calculator that that's gotta be 80. And I think without a calculator, you can figure out that that's gotta be 110. But you're not done. In this diagram, there's definitely more Zs. There's a Z that looks like this, which means if the bottom one is an orange 80, then the top one is an orange 80. And although you can look at the three angles of the triangle and get the answer, you could also do it by saying, hey, there's a half a circle up here. When you add together 80 and 70, that's 150. I guess I'm just missing 30 more for the middle. And you're completely done with 18. Now, when you get to one, um, 19, go for bow ties. I have a bow tie here. I have a bow tie here. But remember, the basketball never spins. So there's a bow tie here, and there's a bow tie here. There's a bow tie here, and there's a bow tie here. Those are all the bow ties that are 118 because the basketball never spins. But when you go to your calculator, all right, and you type in 180, which is the half circle, minus 118, you're gonna get an answer of 62. That 62 is actually here and here, here and here, here and here. It's like the green bow tie, here and here. And now I'm done with all angles on 19. Okay, so number 20 looks very similar to ones that we had done before. Um, I hope everyone sees the bow tie here, which is 50, and then the bow tie here, which is also 50. Okay, but you definitely have a half circle right here. So if you know that 110 plus 70 gives you 180, you're good to go. But there is a 70 bow tie here, and there's a 110 bow tie over there. But if you look for the Z in this diagram, you will have another angle that's 70 degrees up on top. And that 70 has a bow tie right over here. And you can just say to yourself, okay, I see actually three angles that make a half of a circle. So if you need a calculator, 70 plus 50 is 120, you need 60 more. And I guess the other half of that bow tie is 60. You're done. All angles are filled in in number 20. Okay, last one. Maybe something you don't know. When you have a triangle, the three angles always add up to 180. But when you have a quadrilateral, four sides, the angles always add up to 360, always. So it's X plus 48 plus 79 plus 107 always 
equals 360 in a quadrilateral. That never changes, just like a triangle is always 180. So I type in the total, which is 360, and I subtract off the 48, I subtract off the 79, and I subtract off the 107. When I'm done, I get 126. That is the missing angle. And you're done.